Hi everyone, Ashlyn Keith, a YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about St. Patrick's Day. Um, it's going to be March here in a couple weeks, and um, I thought that I would just talk about that. Um, so I am actually half Irish. My mom has Irish in her, and her um, dad's dad was like full-blooded Irish, her great-grandpa, so her... Her, yeah, her great-grandpa, so not her dad's dad, but her dad's dad's dad, if that makes sense. <laughs> Anyways, um, I won't get too much into that, but um, my great-great-grandfather was Irish, and um, he, I guess, my mom told me, he used to like to just get drunk out of his mind and would steal cars and just drive them around and stuff, so... That's some crazy family history that I didn't know about until she told me, but yeah. So anyways, here's some stuff about um, St. Patrick's Day. Let me scroll up. Hold on a second. Um, okay. St. Patrick's Day. Um, uh, one question is, what is the true history of St. Patrick's Day? The March 17th celebration started in 19, or 1631 when the church established a feast day honoring St. Patrick's. Um, he had been a patron saint of Ireland who died around the 5th century, a whopping 12 centuries before the modern version of the holiday was first observed. Okay, so here's some interesting facts about St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick didn't wear green. His color is St. Patrick's blue. The color green became associated with St. Patrick's Day after it was linked to the Irish independent movement in the 18th century. So it was blue, not green. Despite his Irish notary, St. Patrick's was British. He was born to Roman parents to Scotland or Wales in the late 4th century. According to Irish legend, St. Patrick used to used the shamrock as a metaphor for the Holy Trinity when he was first introdu introducing Christianity um, to Ireland. St. Patrick's is cr credited for driving the snakes out of Ireland, but according to the fossil record, Ireland has never been home to snakes as it is too cold to host reptiles during the Ice Age. The surrounding seas have kept snakes out since. There isn't any corn in the traditional St. Patrick's Day meal of corn, beef, and cabbage. The name is a reference to the large grains of salt histor historically used to cure. One moment. Uh, let me see where I was at. Um, the name is a reference to the large grains of salt historically used to cure meats, which were known as corns. St. Patrick's was born, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to say this right. St. Patrick was born Maywin Suka, um, but changed his name to Patricius after becoming a priest. Irish immigrants began observing St. Patrick's Day in Boston in 1737, and the first St. Patrick's Day parade in America was held in New York City, in 1766. In Chicago, the plumber's local 110 union dyes the River Kelly green. Um, the dye lasts for around five hours. On around St. Patrick's Day, the Irish Teoche or Prime Minister presents the U.S. President with a crystal bowl of uh, Live, hold on, let me find this, bear with me. A crystal ball of live shamrocks as a symbol of the close ties between the two countries. Okay. So why do we celebrate St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day is a global celebration of Irish culture or around March 17th. It is particularly remembers... To remember uh, St. Patrick, one of the Ireland's patron saints who administered Christianity in Ireland during the 5th century. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated in countries with people of Irish descent. 
Okay, so St. Patrick's Day celebrated March 17th, the anniversary of the death of the 5th century. The Irish have observed this day as a religious holiday for over a thousand years. On St. Patrick's Day, which falls on the Christian season of Lent, Irish families would traditionally attend church in the morning and celebrate in the afternoon. Um, Lenin prohib prohibitions against the consumption of meat were waived and people would dance and drink and feast and the traditional meal of Irish bacon and cabbage. And the centuries following Patrick's death, um, believed to be on March 17th, the mythology surrounding his life became over or even more ingrained in the Irish culture. Perhaps the most well-known legend of St. Patrick's is that he explained the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit using the three leaves of na native Irish clover, the shamrock. St. Patrick lived in the 5th century, is a patron saint of Ireland, and is nas an, its national apostle. Born in Roman Britain, Britain, he was kidnapped and brought to Ireland as a slave and at the age of 16. He later escaped and returned to Ireland and credited with bringing Christianity to its pe his people. Um, so... Um, Roman Catholic Feast of St. Patrick on March 17th, the first St. Patrick's Day Parade took place not in Ireland, but in America. Um, records show that St. Patrick's Day was held March 17th, 1601 in a Spanish colony in what is now called St. Augustine, Florida. The parade and, uh, and, uh, St. Patrick's Day celebration a year earlier were organized by the Spanish colony's Irish vicar, Ricardo Arter. I think I said that right. More than a century later, homesick Irish soldiers serving in an English military march in New York City on March 17, 1772 to honor the Irish patron saint. Enthusiasm for the St. Patrick's Day parades in New York City, Boston, and other early American city only grew from there. So I kind of talked about this, the green Chica Chicago River, um, the Chicago River dyed green. Um, so as immigrants spread out over the United States, over the cities, developed their own tradition. One of these is Chicago's annual dyeing um, of Chicago Green River. Uh, the practice started in 1962 when the city population control workers used dyes to trace illegal sewage discharges and realized that the dye green might provide a unique way to celebrate the holiday. That year, they released 100 pounds of green vegetable dye into the river, enough to keep it green for a week. Today, in order to minimize environmental damage, only 40 pounds of dye are used, and the river turns green for only several hours. Although Chicago historians claim their city's idea for a river of green was original, some natives of Savannah, Georgia, whose St. Patrick's Day parade, the oldest in the nation, dates back to 1813, believe the idea originated in their town. Um, they point out that in 1961, a hotel restaurant manager named Tom Woolley um, convinced city officials to dye Savannah's River Green. Um, and the experience didn't exactly work as planned and the water only took on a slight greenish hue. Savannah never attempted to dye its river green, river green again, but Wooly maintains, um, though others ref refute the claim that he personally suggested the idea to Chicago's mayor, Richard J. Uh, Daly. So I guess there was a little uh, dispute about that. Um, <laughs> so, St. Patrick's Day celebrates around the world. Today, people of all backgrounds celebrate St. Patrick's Day, especially throughout the United States, Canada, and Australia. Although North America is home to the largest production, St. Patrick's Day is celebrated all around the world in locations as far as Ireland, including Japan, Singapore, and Russia. Popular St. Patrick's Day recipes include Irish soda, bread, corned beef, and cabbage and uh, camp 
or champ whatever however you want to pronounce that because it it's spelled like champ but you can say it camp with the h being silent in the united states people wear green on saint patrick's day so last but not least we all know what do leprechauns have to do with saint patrick's day one of the icons of irish holiday is the name is the leprechaun the original Irish name for those figures of folklore is um, lepre leprechaun, <laughs> meaning small-bodied fellow. Um, belief in leprechauns per per probably stem from Celtic belief in fairies, tiny men and women who could use their magical powers to serve good or evil. In Cel Celtic folk folk tales. Um, leprechauns were cranky souls responsible for mending the shoes of the other the other fairies. Though only minor figures in Celtic folklore, leprechauns were known for their trickery and they're often used to protect their much fabled treasure. Leprechauns have their own holiday on May 13th, but are also celebrated on St. Patrick's Day, with many dress up um, as wily fairies. So that's some fun stuff about St. Patrick's Day. And I might have to do like a separate video for leprechauns um, because there's a little more stuff that I could talk about when it comes to leprechauns. And I would suggest, I would highly suggest watching um, the horror movies. Um, I do like that because they're not really scary to me. But, and I don't think they were meant to be like, to scare you so you don't sleep but they're meant to be scary cute but um i would watch the leprechaun movies um it's just called leprechaun and the first leprechaun movie had jennifer aniston in it and no i don't own any copyrights to any of those movies i'm just suggesting those are movies that you guys should watch and they're really good um so there's leprechaun one two three and i think there's a four not sure if there's a five i'm not sure about four and five because i know for a fact there's one two and three and one leprechaun one it's just called leprechaun and then leprechaun three the leprechaun three is in vegas um it's supposed to be held in vegas and that's one of my favorites because it's so funny and it's just it's just like if you love 80s movies and 90s movies and stuff like that i think it was the 90s um, it has like a cheesy feel to it, but it's so nostalgic. So it's, it's, a, it's movies I would suggest you to watch. Um, but anyways, that's some information about St. Patrick's Day. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm thinking that I'm going to search for some um, parades that are held here um, in Iowa so I can just get the hell out of the house and um, celebrate St. Patrick's Day because I haven't been able to do that for a couple of years because of COVID and um, last year I was pregnant so just yeah so I'm ready to celebrate St. Patrick's Day celebrate um, you know me being Irish and my family being Irish um, and uh, yeah so uh, maybe even drink some green beer. I'm not sure. No, I shouldn't do that because I I need to stay away from alcohol and other things from the from my past addiction. But it would be fun to maybe just have one beer. But anyways, um, thought I would talk to you guys about that, and I will be on with another life topic. Thank you.